Well, hello there, my beautiful, gorgeous foxes, and thank you so much for joining me here on my channel today. In today's video, we are going to be painting ourselves purple. Yep, just purple. There's really not much more to it than that, other than that day I decided to paint myself purple. So let's get started. Using my Mehran Paradise Paints palette, I'm taking the shades purple, violet, and white, and I am mixing them to make my own custom color. Yes, I know my paint palette is very, very messy. I'm a messy painter, don't judge. And I am going to be using this shade color thing, jig, what? Ha, hmm, hi, welcome to my voiceover. In case you didn't know, I'm insane, you're welcome. This shade actually ended up being a little too deep for me. It dried darker than I had anticipated, so I actually did a lot of layering and mixing until I was satisfied with the color, but I used this color all over my entire face and then brought this down onto my upper chest area. So here you can see that I'm going through and I'm kind of pre-highlighting my face with the paints. I typically, when doing body paints like this, only do this with the powder, but because, like I said, I wasn't achieving the exact color that I was wanting from this, I wanted to go ahead and highlight with the paint as well, just to make sure that I really brightened and lightened this up because I really wanted it to be more of a pale lavender because I was afraid of looking like, you know, like a genie or purple people eater. I don't know. Now I'm taking my Sugar Pill Pro palette that is custom made and taking the shades Taiko, Poison Plum, and Castle on the Hill. Taiko is the shade I am going to be using for highlighting. I am going to be using this powder all over the planes of my face, so under my eyes, here under where I am going to be contouring my chin, my forehead, down the center of my nose, and I don't show it here, but I also take this onto my chest a little bit. I wasn't quite as worried about my chest so much because I knew I was going to be doing some kind of painting on it. Now using the shade Poison Plum, I am going to start kind of like bronzing up my face, if that makes sense. Can you bronze with purple? I don't know. But that's what the, uh, the effect uh, I am trying to achieve here is. Once I have effectively bronzed my entire body, again, bronzed, I, <laughs> I, I don't get it. Anyways, I am going to go in with Castle on the Hill and contour the face then, just deepening up those places that I really want looking hollowed out. Here I am just really snatching that nose. Anytime I do a body paint, I really like to make sure the nose is super snatched because I feel like that is the perfect time to be able to snatch that nose. Can I stop saying snatched? Snatched? Okay, this is the part of the video where I have fluffed up. I can no longer show you close-ups of any of the products I'm using because I have done something to my camera where it won't focus on anything I put closer than two feet away from the lens. So, I apologize, but I will have a full list of the products I am using in the description down below. This product is from Wet n Wild. It is the Liquid Catsuit Eyeshadow in Vanilla Ice Cream. Ooh. Now I am taking this beautiful bronzy shade from the Midnight Masquerade palette from ColourPop Cosmetics, and I'm blending that right into my crease and really dragging that out and making it dramatic. When do I not do that? I just have to, okay? And then I am going to take this really pretty lavender shade from Odin's Eye palette, and I am going to just kind of blend out that harsh line, and now I'm going back in with another deep bronzy shade from that Midnight Masquerade palette and I am going to lay this on the outer corner and inner corner of my eye because we're going to create sort of a halo eye effect and of course blending the crap out of this so it all is nice and seamless. Set my heart now to begin that halo eye effect, I am taking Wet n Wild's Liquid Catsuit Eyeshadow again in the shade Copper Cat. 
I love that name. Tell me that's not so stinking clever and cute. Anyways, I'm not doing anything too precise because I am going to add glitter to the top of this. And then I am just tapping on with my finger, Touch and Souls Metalist Sparkling Foiled Pigment in Golden Tangerine. And then because it wasn't shiny enough for me, I went back in with the red coppery glitter from the Midnight Masquerade palette and just gently tapped that over top of the Metalist Sparking, 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 what? Hi, <laughs> woo. Now I am just going back through and cleaning that all up, blending everything together really nicely and really deepening that outer and inner V of my eye. Now to line the top of that halo eye, I am going to be using the metal liner from Urban Decay in Midnight Cowboy. That one is one of my favorites. It looks gorgeous all the time. Now, <laughs> this part. Okay, I really didn't know what to do with my brows for this look. I honestly didn't. And um, I'm not even going to really tell you what I did do because in the end, I probably could have done nothing to my brows and it wouldn't have made a difference because they just look terrible. I will have in the description uh, what I did use if you wanted to know, but they just look so stinking awful. I just don't even want to talk about it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now I am highlighting my face. I first went in with the Odin Eyes Cosmetics uh, Solomain. Is that how I say it? I don't know. Highlight palette. And it just wasn't enough bling bling. So then I stepped into the Anastasia of Beverly Hills Amorezzi uh, highlight collaboration duo thing, majig. I wish it actually had a name, but it doesn't, so that's what I'm going to say. <laughs> Anyways, now you can see that shine really pops, and it looks gleaming and glowing, and I just love it. Also, it has that really pretty, like, gold cast to it. I don't know. I'm in love. I threw on some mascara here, and then this is where you're going to see <laughs> my too much Jean taking over. Oh, what's that? This is another time it is just taking over. I have the too much gene and I was terrified of it this time around. I didn't want to screw this look up and I don't think I really did. I did do something that I wasn't fond of, but I was thinking about adding gems to my face and doing everything crazy. I don't know. Anyways, what I have been doing here is just blowing out and diffusing that lower lash line with those two bronzy shades that I used earlier. And oh, what is that? Oh, we have to see it again. <laughs> Righty then. Now I am just going to apply some false lashes, my wig, lip to fill my lips as usual, and put in some contacts. So now we have our wig on, we're lip to filling, and I have decided to take a metal powder from Mayron with their mixing liquid, and the metal powder is in copper and just makes some drips on the neck. Now here is where the too much jean kind of took over. The drips coming from me is nothing new. I like to do drippies. I don't know why, it just, something about it makes a makeup look like so cool to me. I don't know. It's probably not that cool, but I love doing the drippy drippies off of my neck. But the too much jean took over, um, you know, just, just, just about right here. Um, I accidentally kind of splattered myself a little too hard and I just decided to go ham with the whole just slapping myself with a paintbrush and making weird paint strokes. That sounds really weird. <laughs> Hi, once again, I'm awkward. <laughs> I'm insane. <laughs> You're welcome. So now what we are going to do is take off our lip to full and I get asked all the time if it makes a ring or a mark around my mouth. And I wanted to show here that yes, it does. And it's especially predominant when uh, I have body paint on. What I typically do is take my beauty sponge that I have used to apply my foundation and with the little bit of foundation that has left on it, I kind of buff and blend out this line. Here I'm just using a paintbrush, same kind of shindig. It does go away um, and it's pretty easy to blend out. So I just wanted to show that really quick. Also here I am highlighting my cupid's bow, of course, and now I am applying my lip color. This is Desert Rose from Lime Crime. Also my dog just hit my camera, that's why it shook. <laughs> that was a little weird. I wasn't super satisfied with this lip color and I wasn't sure what to do. I didn't want to take it off, but I also didn't want to leave it the way that it was. So I took this metallic-y thingy from Lime Crime. <laughs> I'll have it down in the description down below. Anyways, hindsight, I actually really like how this looks now looking at it, but at the time I didn't. So I ended up covering it with the full on plumping lip gloss from Buxom Cosmetics in the shade White Russian. And that is it, my friends. This is the makeup look, except for one thing. 
my hand kept coming in frame and I hate painting my hand. Let me reiterate <laughs> words. I decided to paint my hand. I really hate painting my hand. That's what I was going for. Reiterate painting my hand, not so bueno. But I did end up painting my hand and this is the real final look. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. It was a blast to create. I love doing these full body paint things. It's not a full body, it's not. It's just like my chest up, but you know what I'm saying. Anyways, I enjoy doing these so much and if you guys like it too, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up so that I know that you do and I will do more in the future. Also, if you are not a part of the Fox family yet go ahead and hit that subscribe button we would love to have you and it's just the kind thing to do anyways I love you guys so stinking much and I can't wait to see you in my very next video thank you so much for watching well okay bye